for example, if we want to store the student uh, uh, <coughs> uh, course grade, uh, so uh, they will have, we will have student name, grade, and course number. And then we we'll use a list will be a bit uh, cumbersome, right? So, and you may recall in, uh, in your Java 1 or Java 2, you have an assignment to, to use the Java uh, uh, array to, uh, to, to assign a student uh, grade and course map. And in Python, you can use list to do a similar uh, implementation. And the basic idea is that you put, put a student a name, grade, and course in the same position of the list. That said, this implementation, it works, but it's actually not a good uh, design because if you change, remove one student or add another student, you need to change corresponding data structure. Like a grade, if you add one student, uh, let's say, uh, if we add Adam in that, and then all the other uh, value need to be changed. Otherwise, it is. Uh, we add Adam, but the grade of Dennis and Katie we, is also changed. That doesn't make sense, right? So this is, the list is, whoops, is not a good design strategy. It's a, this, remember this class is about how to write a software properly. Uh, so using list to implement this kind of student information is not a good design. So, and what's, other uh, way we can do this. The other way we can do this is something called dictionary. Uh, in this case, <clears throat> the, the, the difference between dictionary and the list is the dictionary has keys and value. It's a pair of key and value. So uh, on the, when you use the list, we have the name in one list and the gr uh, grade in another list. But in a dictionary, now we can put a name as the key and the grade as the value. So this will be the uh, basically the syntax of Python dictionary. Name and grade. Well, you can also say, well, this is just one grade. What if you had, uh, so you have the, uh, uh, each, you have multiple code. You can then use nested dictionary. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, we will we will uh, move on uh, when we need it. So for now, let's just use a simple dictionary uh, example. So so we have a uh, Anna with a grade of B. John has a grade of uh, A plus. Dennis is A. Kelly is A. It's a good. Uh, they are all good students. So. And then if we want to get a, a grade of Anna, and then we can just use its name as the uh, for indexing indexing that name directly. Uh, if you really want to get into how the dictionary is implemented, it's actually uh, it's implemented using hash. Um, and that probably is something you will learn in uh, algorithm uh, algorithm classes, <clears throat> probably 3,000 3, level. Uh, so, so here we have the Anna instead of using, uh, in the previous one, we, we Anna is a zero, the first uh, index are zero, but here we can just using Anna as the key to get that way. But uh, if there's the key is not in the dictionary, then we have an out of bound error. Uh, this is actually called key error. Uh, <clears throat> so, but the, the good thing about dictionary is we can add the key directly of someone just joined the class. Okay. Uh, so here, in the first one, when we just indexing uh, Sylvan without assignment, that's an error. The magic thing is, if we do an assignment, that's okay. <laughs> so this is, uh, so uh, there, instead of just call it, if we actually assign Sylvan to A, and then it works. So what this, the next, uh, this example does is basically insert Sylvan into the dictionary and give it a value of A. So why there's a difference between these two is I guess that's what the, the Python um, decide to design the dictionary this way. I, 
I mean, in theory, you may think uh, in certain case, if you want to call C1, instead of giving an error, you may assign it to a say a null value. Maybe in some cases you can do that, but right now, at least uh, Python 3.7, is a three, three percent. This is still the way it is implemented. So if you call a key, it gives you a key does not exist error, a uh, key error. Uh, but if you if you call a key, assign a value is actually added directly into the dictionary. <laughs> so uh, personally, I think this is a bit uh, there's a bit of inconsistency here. So, but you should at least throw a a uh, warning or something that this key doesn't exist. Uh, otherwise, you should uh, warn the uh, the user uh, you are either insert or override the old value. So right now, it's uh, simply depend on the uh, 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 software developer to to handle this uh, outside of the dictionary. So, okay. So, Professor, I have a question. Yes. No. You said in the dictionaries you can only insert or override a value. Does that mean you can't have multiple values? Like you couldn't give Sylvan a second grade, like a B on his next assignment? Very good. Key, uh, oh, I, I guess uh, many, uh, I guess none of you have taken database. Uh, a key, by definition, it has to be unique, right? So, so the key open a log. You, uh, it will be a very bad idea a key open multiple doors. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, I, 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 uh, I missed that. The, the, by definition, a dictionary key are unique. So, uh, yeah, good question. So I, I think I uh, didn't, didn't explain that uh, I missed the key has to be unique. So in fact, the key is also a set. Uh, so it is unique. So. Uh, so if you delete a key, it's going to delete the uh, and uh, yeah, delete that uh, unique key and uh, value pair. So in this case, if we look at the keys, <coughs> yeah, that would be that must be after deletion of the Anna. So so Anna is gone. And the values will be, value can be multiple. Uh, sorry, value, values can be redundant, right? Because the, I guess, yeah. But if you reverse this, that would be not a, a not a, uh, I, I think if you, if you want to use the A as a key and the name as the value, I think you, you are basically going to overload the, uh, you will only have the A and A plus, not the, not the, not the three A's. So, good question. So, <clears throat> okay. So, in fact, the, the dictionary is one of the data structure uh, because the dictionary has this unique key uh, uh, feature. It can do things list cannot do. And very, uh, very common usage is to count the frequency of the key. And in this example, we are going to analyze the uh, frequency of the word in a lyrics. Uh, apparently that's the song. Uh, <clears throat> uh, she love you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she love you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so apparently that's the, 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 the lyrics. And in this example, uh, we want to see what's the most frequently used uh, word in that uh, lyrics. So that's the input. And what we are doing here, we use a dictionary. Remember dictionary key is unique. So we can use every word as the key and check uh, how often it occur in the lyrics. And Every time when we see a key, which is a word here, that's the key. And then uh, we're going to update that uh, frequency by one. For the first time, uh, if that word is not in the dictionary, we assigned uh, to a one. So 
you can you can see here I'm uh, I have to handle a new key and the existing key using if else. This is basically because Python, if it's a new key, uh, I, if the key Python does not uh, automatically uh, tell me whether the key is new or existing. So I had to use an if else to, to do this. And I guess if you, if someone wants to just write the, uh, if the key existing with a shorthand, it would be a bit easier. So, yeah. But right now, the, at least in the base package, uh, uh, we have to do that uh, manually. So. So, and this will be, uh, that's the function. If we apply that to the lyrics, and that's actually, apparently that's the Beatles. <laughs> so, um, and then we can actually see, oh, uh, I think I jumped over something. Uh, did I run the uh, Beatles? No, I didn't run that part. Yeah, the, the, the thing about the notebook, you have to run everyone, otherwise it's not, the, not going to work. So if I put the Beatles there. Okay, so there, that, <coughs> uh, it looked like uh, the most, I, I saw the year, oh no, she is 20, how about year? Year is 28, it looked like, you, oh, actually you is the most frequent, you is 36, yeah, so. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's apparently the beat of sound. So, uh, this is just a one example uh, to show how to use dictionary to count up uh, frequency. If you think about uh, this dictionary analogy, is almost like a real dictionary. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you actually used a hard copy of dictionary. <laughs> uh, actually, let, let's do a do a, a quick question. So, uh, how many of you actually use a, a hard copy dictionary? Like uh, 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 when when you are uh, in the school, did you use a real copy of dictionary? If it's yes, pick A. If it's no, pick B. Do you mean now or in the past? In the past. Okay, but it looked like uh, uh, two thirds of you actually use a real dictionary. So you know what it means. <laughs> I'm actually quite surprised it's still a third of you never used a hard copy dictionary. Yeah. Uh, now that I recall when, when, when my kids in, uh, in some class actually, she, uh, she was asked to bring a dictionary. So in, in some school, at least some teacher does ask the student to bring a dictionary <laughs> so yeah but still uh, it looked like a look like a quarter of you also to a third still haven't used dictionary. if you recall in a dictionary the word is unique that that the word in the dictionary is a unique one you each word can have multiple uh meanings right so like uh uh actually I, if you think about uh, some word like a uh, uh, dictionary, I hopefully in the in the real dictionary, the dictionary probably can explain what it uh, means in the plain English. But in software uh, developer, a dictionary can also mean a data structure, like in Python. <laughs> so, so if I write a dictionary, I probably can write it that way. So yeah. So then, uh, as Okay, thank you for participating in this. That, that if you think about the dictionary here, it's almost like a real dictionary. So we have a, a word, which is a key and a value there. Uh, if you think about that, the value, we didn't say the value has to be a number. The value can be an object. So you could have the key, which is to any object you want. It could be a dictionary itself, in fact. <laughs> so in fact, that's how uh, so-called uh, recursive definition is used. So you can use a dictionary, link to a dictionary, that dictionary point out back to itself. That would be a recursive definition. 
In fact, that's called a graph. If you if you later on uh, using graph data structure, you will dictionary is a common way to implement graph data structure. Sorry, a bit of went out of the bound here. So, uh, okay. Uh, so this in this example, we basically use a dictionary actually looking for every word. Each word um, in the dictionary is unique, but in the original lit, uh, lyrics, obviously it occurred multiple times. So that's how we count the frequency. Uh, in fact, let me show you a real example. Uh, when I, uh, uh, this is actually a real example I use dictionary in my own uh, research work. So this, what is this work? Uh, I probably uh, went over this in the first class to show how I analyze the mutation in the SARS-CoV-2 viruses. You, you probably heard that the SARS-CoV-2 viruses have mutated quite frequently. There are some new variants which seem to escape the current vaccine, at least partially, and that's become a problem. Now, how do I identify the mutation in the genome count of the frequency? I basically use a dictionary here. <clears throat> so, uh, in fact, I uh, this is a very small demonstration just to see whether the code works. So, if uh, if some of you took biology class, you probably know the in in our uh, in any any species, not just human, um, but also in virus, the 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 genetic information is coded by just four letters A T C G. So ATCG, if all the nucleotide uh, in, the, uh, in all kind of, uh, so if I see, uh, sequence, say, a thousand viruses, and if I'm, I'm align all the viruses and sequences, if all the position has just ATCG, the same uh, letter, that means there's no mutation, right? So if all the uh, uh, position, I, I count the frequency of those letters. If some of the letter is different, that means there is a mutation there. So that's basically the idea. And how I count this, I use the dictionary, basically. Now, uh, the sense is a bit complicated because the virus mutation can also have the insertion and deletion. And in that case, uh, instead of ATCG, we count them as the dash. Uh, that means the, the deletion there. So, this is basically, I do, I do some simple uh, 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 testing. So for the first position, well, we have a 41 something, uh, that's actually a deletion. And then in one string, that's a G. What that means in that, in one uh, virus, there is actually an insertion, but most of them actually has nothing there. So this is a, uh, uh, you can also see here, I printed it out using uh, the, this dictionary, when I print it out, uh, when I print out the D dictionary of this the mutation counting, is using the curly parentheses, which is the basically the uh, Python uh, uh, syntax for a dictionary. Curly uh, uh, parentheses. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so that's actually. Oops. Uh, no. Yeah. That's. Uh, so I use dictionary very very often, simply because. The unique key counting uh, in, in this dictionary is very useful for data analysis. So, okay.